The role of a full stack software developer is indeed precisely much difficult or they say it is going to be very hectic. If you are thinking the same, watch this video till the end because we are going to uncover about what are the skills that are required to become one and what is the job role is actually like, what is the salary of a full stack software developer as well. We are also going to understand major questions that we all have before we even step into the career. Who is a full stack software developer? What are the skills that are required to become one? What does a full stack developer actually do the day to day responsibilities? And if you are really interested how to become a full stack software developer, you are going to understand the major essential points that you have to actually note down and put into practice. Job roles which are aligned as a full stack software developer and the salaries in regards to major locations as well as companies in India. So we are going to cover all of this in one video. So stay tuned to the end and do not miss any sections which we are going to cover. I welcome you all to Freshest Now where we provide informative videos regarding careers. So why you have to miss it when we are covering out all of the major job roles which we have been collected for you. We are going to begin with the introduction part as uh, you have to understand the basic definition of a full stack software developer. It's going to be something like this. He or she is considered to be an engineer who works on both client side as well as the server side. So a cutting edge balance between both of them and looking into the software application is going to be the core responsibility or the core task that they would be actually performing. This type of developer would be working on the full stack of a software application, meaning the front end development, back end development, database, server, API and version controlling systems are in the hands of a full stack software developer. Some of the skills which are required are as follows Java microservices, Microsoft Azure, Microsoft SQL servers, C Sharp programming language and ASP.NET framework. These are foundations only. Further, if you will be understanding when you are listening to the responsibilities, how you can become one, all of that will be forming up a pile of tasks and the responsibilities that you need to actually keep handling. So what does a full stack developer do? The primary responsibilities would include all of this which I am going to mention. Designing user interactions on further websites that they are working for a company or organization. Developing servers and databases for the website functionality and coding for the mobile platforms. So they would be actually making their functionalities. All of the functions which are related to their website or the organization's objective has to be taken care of by a full stack software developer. And if you are interested to become one, consider all of these essential points. What are they? Alongside with the skills, being proficient with the fundamentals of front-end languages such as HTML, CSS and JavaScript, being proficient with server side of the language like Python, .NET, PHP, etc., Java, etc., being familiar with the database technologies like MySQL, Oracle and MongoDB, and then familiarity with JavaScript frameworks and all of the executions which are related to it has to be understood and also having practical experience on that is taken up into consideration before even you step into the career or, or the role of a full stack software developer and here are some of the job roles which are aligned into the role of a full stack software developer they would be developing front end websites architecture back end website applications creating servers and databases for their further functionalities and working alongside with the graphic designers for the web design features and further development for the execution of the particular website or the product that they are further working upon. We have covered all of the major part of the video which is all the brief description and the role, the responsibilities, all of that. We are stepping into part two of the video which is going to be what is the salary of a full stack software developer? The average salary of a full stack developer in India is 6,54,000 per annum. This is just on an average basis and the data we have collected from is from Payscale. If you want to know more, please head over to the website. Pay by experience of um, this particular role is going to look something like this. From year 1 to year 4, you can see just a between 5,78,000 and eventually 
over just 5 to 10 years you can see it will be reaching up to 1 million to 2 million eventually you will be landing out there if you are having the right amount of work exposure and the right set of skills and certifications stepping into the location wise uh, salaries of a full stack software developer starting off with mumbai hyderabad bengaluru pune and noida the major cities in india the average salary of a full stack software developer in Mumbai is 5,93,000, Hyderabad is 7,50,000 and then in Bengaluru is 7 lakhs per annum and in Pune is 6,28,000 and Noida is 7,27,000 per annum. Not just it, we are also going to deep dive and look forward for how major companies in India are paying starting with Accenture, Cognizant TCS, Amazon etc. So first, the average salary of a full stack software developer in Accenture is 6,64 and in Cognizant is 6,24 and TCS is paying 4,50 and in Infosys it is 4,42,000 per annum and in Amazon it's 8 lakhs per annum. Further, you see in Wipro, you will get 6 lakhs per annum on an average basis. Now, this is just on an average basis, just to get you an idea. We have come to the end of the video and if you have further questions or suggestions for us, do place them in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to subscribe to Freshers Not Channel for more informative videos.